had these amazing structures. Do you know what are they called? These conical structures are called pyramids. Pyramids were built in ancient times to preserve the dead bodies of pharaohs or kings. The greatest pyramid is the Pyramid of Giza. It is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Pyramid is a representation of Egyptian art and architecture. Thus, pyramids are a part of Egyptian civilization. Now, Egyptian civilization is an ancient civilization which flourished along the banks of river Nile. In the previous video, we saw that the Egyptian civilization flourished on the fertile plains of river Nile. Now, apart from the Egyptian civilizations, the other ancient civilizations of the world also flourished on the fertile plains of some rivers. Now, look at this map. This map shows the ancient civilizations of the world. Now, see that the Indus Valley civilization flourished on the banks of river Indus. Again, the Egyptian civilization flourished on the banks of river Nile. Again, the Mesopotamian civilization flourished on the banks of river Tigris and the Huanghu civilization, an ancient Chinese civilization, developed on the fertile plains of river Yellow. Thus, from this map, we can conclude that plains are very important to human beings since prehistoric times. So, before discussing about the importance of plains, let us define what is a plain. So now let us understand what is a plain. A plain is an extensive area of flat land with lower elevation. The average elevation of a plain is less than 150 meter. So plain is a type of landform which has a flat land and lower elevation. In this picture, we can see different kinds of landforms. So now, can you differentiate different kinds of landforms? Let us differentiate. This landform is a mountain. And what is a mountain? Mountain is a type of landform with steep slopes and a pointed top, which is called a peak or a summit. Now, the second type of landform is a plateau. According to the picture, these are plateaus. Now, what is a plateau? Plateau is a type of landform with a flat top and steep slopes. The last type of landform is a plain. A plain is a type of landform which is a flat land and has a lower elevation. The elevation of plains is much lower only this much compared to the other two types of landform which is a mountain and a plateau. Thus plains are quite different from a mountain and a plateau. Plain is a flat land with lower elevation. Now some of these plains can be covered with shrubs as in grasslands. See this is the picture of a grassland. and it is covered with shrubs. Plains can also be barren as in the case of deserts. This is a picture of a desert and we can see it is a vast area covered with sand. Now plains can be completely covered with trees as in forest. This is the picture of a forest and we can see from this picture that the plain land is completely covered with trees. Thus, plains can be a grassland, a desert or a forest. Now we know what is a plain. Now these plains can be classified into various types based on their process of formation. Now, planes are mainly of two types, structural planes and depositional planes. We will study about the first type that is structural planes. Have you ever tasted South Indian dishes like idli, dosa, uttapam etc? According to the authentic or traditional South Indian style, these delicacies are mostly prepared in coconut oil. In fact, Coconut is consumed in all forms in South India. Desiccated coconut is mixed with spices and is used to prepare a chutney. In fact, coconut water is a refreshing drink that is consumed in South India. 
so therefore we can see that coconut is an essential ingredient and therefore an integral part of south indian cuisine now where does this coconut grow coconut is a native tree of india it grows on the coastal plains of india especially in the states of karnataka tamil nadu and kerala now this map shows the coastal plains of india the coastal plains of india comprises of two parts the eastern coastal plain this part and the western coastal plain that is this part in fact our country india is blessed with a long coastline of 7500 kilometers this coastal plain extends from gujarat coast in the west to Odisha coast in the east thus you can see that india has a long coastline now let us see how are these coastal plains formed coastal plains are a type of structural plains they are structurally depressed part of a land that is say a continental shelf which lie below the sea level they are formed due to endogenic forces these endogenic forces that is the forces acting below the earth surface may trigger earthquakes now earthquakes unsettles the earth's crust and due to this the continental shelf may rise and form structural plains structural plains are also called coastal plains now coastal plains may become wider due to deposition of sediments near the coast thus structural plains or coastal plains are formed due to upliftment of continental shelf or sea bed near the coast now in the previous video we saw that structural plains are formed due to upliftment of continental shelf apart from that structural plains may be also formed due to subsidence of land well during the formation of block mountains we learned that the middle section of the land between two fault lines may either raise up or subside now when the middle section of the land subside or submerge they may form structural plains one such structural plain is present in australia it is known as the central lowlands see look at the map of australia in this map we can see that this part is the great western plateau this part is the eastern highlands and central lowlands which is this part lies between two highlands or two uplifted section thus we can conclude that the central lowlands represent a structural plain which has been formed due to subsidence of land now before we proceed with our lesson can you help me to answer this question which of the following plains are formed due to upliftment or subsidence of land is it structural plains volcanic plains erosional plains or residual plains well the correct answer is structural plains we learned that structural plains are formed due to upliftment or subsidence of land I hope most of you love to collect seashells when you find them lying on sea beaches. Now do you know what is a seashell and how are they brought to the shore? Seashell are hard covering of soft animals like snails or oysters. These animals are found in deep oceans and they are brought up to the shore by waves or tides. Thus when waves or tides crash on the shore they deposit these seashells on the shore. Apart from seashells other sediments like silt sand gravel etc are deposited by running water like a river rivers erode the landforms like mountains when they run over them these eroded sediments are then deposited elsewhere which leads to the formation of plains apart from a river winds also erode the landforms and they carry these loose eroded materials and deposit them elsewhere which leads to the formation 
formation of planes thus depositional planes are formed due to deposition of sediments by various natural forces thus based on the process of formation planes can be broadly classified into two types structural planes and depositional planes structural planes are formed due to upliftment and subsidence of land these upliftment and subsidence are mainly carried by endogenic forces that is forces acting below the earth surface while depositional planes are mainly formed due to forces acting on the earth surface like a wind or a river the sediments deposited by natural forces like wind or river leads to the formation of depositional planes so in today's video we learnt what is a plane a plane is a flat land with lower elevation and we also learnt about two types of planes structural planes and depositional planes in our next video we will learn about different types of depositional planes and importance of planes don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now